Anyone who's even remotely familiar with the stories of the Avot knows how rife they are with trickery. From Avram and Avimelech, to Yaakov and Esav, to Yosef and his brothers. In fact, the story of succession, of passing down the mantle and deciding who would be the one to fulfill Hashem's promises, is fraught with deception. Yet there's an oft-overlooked aspect of that theme that appears at the very beginning of this week's Parsha of Parsha Vayeshev. The story of Yosef and his brothers, which we hear about for the first time this week, begins with a few psukim of short background. Yosef, the psukim tell us, was Ro'eh. He was a shepherd who shepherded his father's flock. And he was Na'ar b'nei Bilha b'nei Zilpa. Yosef, the psukim tell us, would bring their dibatam hara'a, their, their negative speech and their negative actions, back to his father. Yosef would tell Yaakov what his brothers were doing or saying wrong. Yaakov, we have to imagine, was to some degree aware of the negative dynamic that existed between Yosef and his brothers. He knew that putting Yosef and his brothers in the same place didn't always amount to the best of situations. In fact, just a few weeks came later when Yosef recounts his dreams, Yaakov responds by scolding Yosef, questioning whether it would indeed be the case that Yaakov and the rest of his sons would really ultimately bow down to Yosef. Yet, just a few psukim later, in, in, a, in a surprising turn, Yaakov sends, of all people, Yosef down to Shechem to find his brothers. Why does Yaakov send Yosef, the man who he knows doesn't always get along with his siblings, to find his brothers? Why is it Yosef? that Yaakov sends. Now, this question is only heightened if we recall Yaakov's own biographical details. Yaakov is a man who, for the past few parshiot, we've been told, whose life is colored by brotherly hatred. His own brother tried to kill him. Yaakov is intimately familiar with brothers who don't get along, and indeed, brothers who might try to kill one another. So why does Yaakov send Yosef down to meet his brothers, who Yaakov knows don't get along with him. Now, I think the answer to this lies in a phrase that appears right after Yosef recounts his second dream to his father. The Pasuk tells us that Yaakov rebuked Yosef for the second dream. And then the Pasuk tells us, Yaakov shamar tadavar. Yaakov kept it in mind, confirmation in Yaakov's mind, that Yosef was the chosen one, that Yosef was going to be the one to lead. He was going to be the successor. He was going to be the one, ultimately, Yaakov thought, to rule over his brothers. Bearing that in mind and recalling once again Yaakov's own biography, an answer to our question becomes apparent. Yaakov was Shomer et Hadavar, and when the opportunity presents itself, he provides Yosef with, the, with his first opportunity to lead. Yosef, Yaakov thinks, is his successor. He is going to be the leader. So when Yaakov realizes that his sons may be in a situation in, of danger, after all, they're in Shechem, which the Rashbam reminds us, just in last week's Parsha, Shimon and Levi had gone down and conducted a murderous campaign in Shechem. They're in Shechem. They're in danger. And so who else would Yaakov choose except Yosef, who Yaakov thinks is going to be his successor, is going to be his leader? This is the moment, thinks Yaakov, that Yosef is going to begin to manifest his leadership skills. In fact, in recognition of the gravity of the task that Yosef is about to undertake, Yosef uses a loaded phrase in responding to his father's request. He uses the phrase hineni as if to say, I'm ready. Here I am. I'm ready to do what leadership requires of me. And this story allows us to ask the question, well, what does leadership, according to Yaakov, require? What does leadership entail? Yaakov, the man whose life has been defined by treachery, by deception, believes that leadership requires the exact opposite, that leadership requires direct confrontation. Yaakov sends Yosef of all people to go find his brothers because that, according to Yaakov, is true 
leadership. That is what his successor will manifest. The same man who confronted his own brother who he thought was going to kill him just in last week's Parsha learns a lesson from his interaction with Esav, who he had been so afraid to confront, and sends Yosef to confront directly his brothers. The answer to this question presents us with a lesson as to what true leadership, true taking on the mantle of the next generation requires, namely confronting our problems, confronting the people who oppose us directly head on. Thank you.